A rare disease is a disease which affects fewer than 200,000 people. Worldwide, there's approximately 7,000 rare diseases. Many of these diseases are genetic. Probably greater than 80% affect kids. Patients with hemophilia and sickle cell disease and other rare diseases just want to be normal. All we want to do is make them normal all the time. Hemophilia is a condition of which patients are unable to stop bleeding. The cause of hemophilia is the lack of a clotting factor in these patients. When they start moving around at about eight or nine months of age, then they start having trouble with bleeding. And then they bleed into their joints. I grew up in uh, the countryside in England. You know, I love to run around outside and swim in lakes and uh, go biking and windsurfing. Every so often I would get a bleed and my knee or my ankle would become very swollen. And back then when you had an injury, you'd have to just go to the hospital and you'd spend several hours in the hospital receiving treatments. And those treatments could go on for several days or even a week or two. If you've got a child and you've given them IV therapy all the time, and you know, that's tough. What's changed over the last 10 to 15 years is a much greater understanding of the genetic basis behind some of these rare diseases. One of the most significant advances right now in rare diseases, particularly hemophilia and other blood disorders, is the emergence of the technique of gene therapy. What gene therapy tries to do is to deliver a healthy version of this defect gene to the affected organ. The rare disease team has actually used collaboration as one of our pivotal things. We established a partnership very recently with a company out of Philadelphia called Spark Therapeutics. Together, we are aiming to develop a completely new disease-correcting therapeutic for hemophilia B. Spark Therapeutics is focused on developing gene therapies for serious genetic diseases. The people in rare diseases at Pfizer are really a, a remarkable group and the kind of people that we'd like to partner with for this. If gene therapy was successful, it would allow me to not ever have to worry about getting an IV infusion for factor eight. I would not worry about uh, getting the injuries that I get. Pfizer's has really taken a very broad approach to the disease that I think will have a big impact. The whole community wants to work together, and I think they view Pfizer as an important part of this continuum. We need to say, what life are we touching today and making better? That's what our job is.